Patients being treated for severe pneumonia will now undergo mandatory COVID-19 tests. The government expanded the scope of testing after two patients who died of pneumonia later tested positive to the virus. The announcement made as Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe reported 10 recoveries and five new cases, bringing the total COVID-19 cases in the country to 189. Chemutai Goin has more. Barely 30 days since the first positive coronavirus case was reported in the country, 189 people have contracted the virus and seven have succumbed to its effects. But it's true of the local deaths, that of a six-year-old boy at the Kenyatta National Hospital and a man in Mombasa that has had the government relook its triage technique. Health officials in both cases failed to diagnose the virus. We have decided as a result of that loophole to be able to expand the scope of the case definition to include severe pneumonia as a criteria for testing for COVID-19. Some would ask what is the relationship between pneumonia and the novel virus. While severe pneumonia presents symptoms such as that of COVID-19, there is rapid heartbeat and breathing, shortness of breath, fever, coughing among others. Clinicians and health workers across the country will going forward be required to test for COVID-19 among all patients showing signs and symptoms of severe pneumonia. The facilities have been disinfected. We have also placed the healthcare workers who took care of the diseased persons in quarantine for the next 14 days. And of course, contact tracing and testing has commenced. It should be noted that the two patients were undergoing treatment for other ailments. For the six-year-old boy, it was discovered when his condition deteriorated. For the Mombasa victim, his was discovered during post-mortem. Even as the government tightens restrictions aimed at containing spread of the virus, use of hard currency by most Kenyans instead of electronic transactions remains a major concern. I am asking you to take all the measures that you can to avoid exchanging notes and coins. Physical money presents surfaces that can very easily be contaminated with the virus. Avoid it. Good Friday lived up to its name. Ten more patients undergoing treatment at the Mbagadi Infectious Disease Unit were discharged after full recovery. However, five new cases were reported out of 504 samples tested over the last 24 hours. Three of the cases are in Mombasa, while Nairobi and Nyandarwa have one each. One case came from mandatory quarantine facilities, while the others were picked by our surveillance teams. Globally, more than 96,000 COVID-19 related deaths have been reported, with the number of cases surpassing 1.63 million. With the Ministry of Health reporting 189 positive cases against its own prediction of 1,000 cases by the first week of April, it is insisting the cost is not clear just yet and that the responsibility of containing the spread of the virus also lies with Kenyans who are expected to heed to the precautionary measures they have outlined to keep the virus at bay. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.